Hello. Two men walk in, one walks out. Well, most players will say, the referee's there too. So three guys go in, but one comes out the winner. Hello, this is Octagon St. Laveau, and I'm your hostess, Betty St. Laveau. This show is all about MMA and UFC, and one of the reasons why I'm just putting this out there is because this past spring and summer, I had a bad ear and eye infection. Remembering the old days with me, Gramps, of watching wrestling with one light bulb over the mat, because it was very primitive back then, I decided to do a little digging into wrestling history, and I came up with the new Attitude Era, which blew my mind. I wasn't re looking at wrestling back then, but thank you, Mr. Jim Cornette and Kevin Nash. What great guys, and what a great, what a great way that uh, wrestlers do what they do and, and combine it with how they do it, which I am not gonna blow. Next, I went and checked out 90s boxing because Gramps and I had watched the Ali Frazier fight, Ali Foreman fights when I was a kid, and um, I didn't think that I would even go near UFC, but sure enough, as I'm cross-referencing like crazy, I find that Chael Sonnen has an opinion on Rousey, Ronda Rousey's Rot by Holly Holm back uh, when she uh, lost her uh, belt, whatever. So I instantly, because Chael is so handsome, I got into MMA and UFC, and then I found all of these wonderful professors uh, who are on YouTube who talk about MMA, mixed martial arts, and the ultimate fighting championship. Okay, so um, my list of to go to about learning about UFC MMA, because I'm just a novice, and I'm doing this because I've got the fever, but I think that there are a lot of you all out there who also enjoy it too, so I'm gonna give you some, some sites to go to. Firstly, there's Alpaca Thesaurus, whose calm, discerning uh, reflections on fighting will blow you away. He, Mr. Korv and Reverend Kitty, they go, uh, they check out MMA and UFC by the psychological uh, worldview, and you will totally enjoy him. He doesn't make enough videos. He's sort of my big, cool, older cousin who kind of, he doesn't pat me on the head and he's not condescending, but he totally is interested in my journey into MMA UFC. All right, and he's asked me to check out some of the early history. Next, we're going to come to my man, Nick's Molly Whoppery. He's a D's, D, them, their, those guys. People love him because of his Brooklynese kind of gangster accent. I love Mr. Mixed Molly Whoppery because not only is he funny and he brings a lot of humor into this sport, he, cur he curses and swears in a really great way, which I totally can get down with, but um, he doesn't do it in a crude way. He's just uh, explaining you his worldview about the fight that he's breaking down. Please check him out. He's like my big, cool uncle who, he doesn't want me to bug him too much, but um, he's glad to give me some insight on how he looks at fights. Okay, so next we're going to come to the weasel. He's like, um, as one of my MMA UFC professors, the kind, uh, caring uh, sibling who, hey, this is the breakdown, uh, there you go, learn from it. He's technical, he's professional, and his editing, just like Alpaca Thesaurus and Nick Smaller Walpery, is sublime. Please go and see Weasel. Um, he's a MMA examiner. All right, um, then there's two other shows. There's Ken Ock, and he's sort of like the patient younger brother sibling who will walk you through the breakdown. This guy is so intelligent, so calm, cool, and collected. Check out his site. And then there's two more sites, um, MMA On Point, and those guys are American and British, and they mix it up with uh, facts and humor. I love them. And then we also have um, Skip to My MMA, which is, I think, they take clips from other people's opinion and they show you them, but um, talk about awesome. Now, I might have left out a show or two, 
which I did not mean to do, but the next show I'll tell you if I did or not. But anyway, please check out these uh, channels. Please subscribe. These guys deserve your support if you're into mixed martial arts. All right. So, oop. Fix my mic there. You see how excited I am about the subject? All right. So, because of these channels, um, I readily and eagerly uh, started amassing a little bit of MA, MMA uh, and UFC um, technique, uh, fighting techniques and, of the fighters and some history. I will always be a novice. Um, mixed martial arts, it's one of those sports that is so pure and clean. People sense that boxing is a bit um, corrupt. They also know that wrestling, there's some other stuff going on there, all right? Um, you know, is it real? Is it Memorex, okay? With martial, uh, and, and football, basketball, all that, they're great too, but this, the sport is so one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it's cut. It's dried. There's no whiff of corruption that I can see in the air. And the promoters are just as interesting as the fighters, which I kind of liked. Um, there's Dana Cook, who heads the um, UFC, uh, that division. And there's, I, for, I should have looked into this. I watch uh, old Bellator pressers, press room. Uh, the audience is there and the press is asking the fires questions. The last time Scott Coco was running Bellator, it seems like Dana White is sort of like the Antichrist promoter, but he's so interesting. I'd hang out with Dana, but you know it's going to be kind of scary too. And Mr. Scott Coker, he seems more um, level-headed, uh, extremely intelligent, and more calm, and also has a sense of humor. And he seems sort of like the... Oh, I don't know. If Dana's the Antichrist, Scott's, I don't know, one of the archangels, probably Gabriel. He, they, they both seem pretty cool to me. So at first I thought there were only three fights a year. There's not. There's more fights than that, but there are seven formats that, uh, uh, how the fights present themselves. So I wrote them down, and there's the numbered fights, the UFC on Fox, Fight Night, which you can look at on, I think, Fox Sports 1 and 2 and UFC Fight Pass. Mr. Alpaca, the source, advised me to check out UFC Fight Pass. The Ultimate Fighter Finale, uh, UFC on FX, UFC on Fuel T, and UFC Live. So all those years I was living in Waitsfield and, you know, I was checking out, you know, scrolling down TV and I'd see um, Ultimate Fighter. Never even thought to check it out. And I do regret now that I didn't, but a couple of my favorite fighters, Rose Namajunas and Nate Diaz and a whole slew of others, were able to be put on on that type of platform. Uh, Dana uh, Cook uh, created the show, I believe, and put on Spike. And so a wider audience was able to be reached. We could, um, the audience could observe how fighters are human. They're not wild animals. And let me tell you something. These men, they're so brave. No, they're not wild animals. They just happen, and women, men and women, they just happen to like to fight. In any civilization or society, we're always going to have the uh, persons who want to guard the compound. It's very natural. It's as natural as falling in love. We're always going to have the people who uh, will want to fight. And hopefully they'll want to fight one another. Conor McGregor, he seems like probably outside of fight. I mean, he, he's a nice guy. I mean, he's crazy. He's a nice guy. But we do not want a Conor McGregor bagging our groceries. We want him fighting. Okay, so that's just what it is. There's all types of people in the world. And these men and women just happen to be fighters. And I totally dig it. Okay, so here's my list of some of the fighters. Most of them on this list, I totally, totally like for so many different reasons. Um, I've been watching YouTube pressers a lot. So, uh, and I really have been watching a fight. I think I've got the guts to watch the Khabib 
McGregor fight, but we'll see. But here's a list of fighters who I really adore. Tony Ferguson, Chael Sonnen, Conor McGregor, the Diaz brothers, Nate and Nick, Rose Namajunas, Gina Carano, Holly Holm, Tyron Woodley, John Jones, Chuck Liddell, Randy Couture, Tito Otitz, uh, the Gracie family, Wanderlei Silver, Kim Shamrock, and Paul Daly. So very few of them I've seen any of these fights, but from learning the history of UFC, I'm in their corners. Well, at least most of them. Sometimes, well, that's another story. That, and that's the other thing about MA is that I kind of like Tito Ortiz in one way, but um, he seems kind of dull when he's talking to someone like Chael Sonnen, who is the best Mike Stick guy in the business. Okay, so I can't say that I don't like any of these fighters. I love their fighting styles, but some of them just don't come off great on the microphone. Now, Ty Tyrone Woodley, um, I didn't put Dare until there, but I should have. Tyrone Woodley uh, just won a match with Darren Till not a week ago. Tyrone Woodley's a great, great fighter, but people don't, people can't warm up to him for some reason. He's not that good on the mic. Like, he's sincere and he's observant and he's intelligent, he's humble, but he just needs a good publicist. That's all the, you know, that's all the guy needs. Um, some people are better on the microphone than other people. Tyrone, he's an, Pardon me, kick-ass fighter, right on, and uh, give props to Darren Till for going in there. Uh, both gentlemen rock the house, okay? So um, that's why you can't, one can't say, especially a novice like me, oh, I don't like this one, I don't like that one, because it took me about six weeks to like Tyrone. I just don't know enough about MMA UFC, and it's not like the movies, which unfortunately, the movies, well, it's just like when Audie Murphy went to Hollywood. He was the real tough guy. Like a lot, a lot of those guys back in the 40s and 50s, they were tough, but only on screen. Victor Mature, he was definitely a tough guy. But Audie would show up on the set and people would turn it down a notch because he was like a war hero. That's a real tough guy. Someone who like saves people's lives, fights hand to hand, okay? So when we look at our fighters that we like or don't like, um, we have to really kind of give them the benefit of the doubt. They're going to the cage. We're not. I wouldn't last two seconds with Rose Namunuzis. I love her. I'd like her to teach me how to fight and that Holly home too, all right? I love everything about Thug Rose. Um, she's charismatic. Uh, her husband uh, trains her. It's a beautiful love story. Uh, all of it. It's easy to like Rose. Um, it's easy to love this girl. She's glamorous, right? And on the other hand, if you try to compare her to other fighters, you say, oh, I don't know. You have to give these fighters props for fighting. So um, MMA, it's such a tricky science. You think your guy's going to win, and he won't. For instance, I was totally um, uh, James Vick there. I thought he was going to win that fight with Justin Gagey. I hadn't seen enough fights of Mr. Gagey to know. All I saw was a shorter guy than Mr. Vick. For some reason, fans don't like uh, James Vick, but he's okay with me. He's, Married dude, you know, kind of cool. We, I like the tallness. Um, but some people don't find him personal. I find him extremely personal, but I found out a lot of, um, after the results of that fight, I discovered a lot about myself and MMA. Just because you like a fighter doesn't mean that he's going to win. It's not because he's not a good fighter. It's just all about technique, okay? Right on. So, um, um, with all, with all of the uh, YouTube channels I list here, Alpaca Thesaurus, Mix Molly Wall, Whopper, and, oh, how can I forget? Mr. Chael Sonnen's You're Welcome, okay? Mr. Sonnen, what a dreamboat, all right? Um, all of the shows that I listed here, I'm impressed by the breakdowns, by their reporting, by their opinions, their visuals, and their um, editing, um, so please check them out. Now, um, I'm thinking that that just might be it for me. The big old, um, the next big fight that's 
it, they're calling it the fight of the century. Look, when I was little, the Ali uh, Foreman, it was either Ali Foreman or Ali Frazier, one of them was the fight of the century. The Habib Namagadov and Conor McGregor fight is literally at least the fight of the early 21st century. It, it probably is the fight of the century. It's taking place October 6, uh, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, I thought about I thought about going there. Um, you know, tickets are sold out, right? But I would love to be in that presser. The presser, the the press conference, I think, is happening today. And I think in New York City, and the public supposedly isn't um, invited. But that fight in Las Vegas is going to be incredible. Um, from what I've learned from watching MMA UFC, Russians especially, they will fly to go watch a fight. And uh, I'm sure that there are some Irish people who are going to come over. So that arena, it, the fight itself, the arena, it's going to be, I don't know, testosterone on steroids, right? So at any rate, I don't know how often Octagon St. Laveau will be taped, but I'll be coming at you after the Khabib, um, the Khabib McGregor fight. I'm wearing this hat in honor of Khabib. He has a uh, traditional Russian cap that he wears whenever Joe Rogan goes in to interview him. Well, whenever, not whenever, but I saw Rogan put the hat on, and I kind of like the hat. So I'm wearing honor of him. He might win the fight. However, my new nickname for Conor McGregor is you can't count him out and never count out Conor Mack, okay? He's an incredible technician. He is, he's brilliant. He is, I think he's the best fighter right now alive. I think there's so many fighters. There's like half a thousand of them, okay? But Conor... He's something else. He's a genius. Khabib's good at grappling. Conor Mack is good at striking. Habib, watch out for that chin. The chin. If Conor gets you, you're down, mate. Okay? Conor, watch out for Khabib's grappling style. The guy grew up in Dagestan. The altitude's different, all right? So I wish both men the best of luck. And let me tell you something. I can't back either of them yet. I'm just torn between Connor's excellent striking and Khabib's grappling and besides, I'm just a novice. So that's it for me. I'm your hostess, Betty St. Laveau. I hope that you've enjoyed Octagon St. Laveau here at Alka Media. I'd like to especially thank my directors here for giving me this shot at expressing my um, newly found fever. And um, as an aside, in my library, I found The Zen Way to Martial Arts by Tezian Deshimaru, a Japanese master reveals the secrets of the samurai. And Book of He, Coordinating Mind Body in Daily Life, Koichi Tohei. We'll talk more about these books in the next episode because to quote Scott Coker, MMA got started because instead of all the different schools saying they're better, they conformed it into one. All right. So until next time, ciao and check out some of those channels I told you about. Bye.